Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul and today we're back with another enlisted video and today we're going to be talking about what should be in the new enlisted update or should I say the progression. And obviously if you haven't realized the news update for the enlisted Q&A has been coming out and I did review that, but in this case you haven't watched it, enlisted basically just released a few statements of saying what they're going to do, what they're, it's going to happen and basically answer some of our questions. but hasn't answered most of our questions. So in this video, I'm going to be splitting up to two parts, the questions I have for Enlisted, and that's it. And the rest is going to be pretty much what I really want to see in Enlisted. But that's it. Well, further ado, uh, let's get started with the video, which has been made possible through members like you. And obviously, if you don't have a like, subscribe, or join the Discord, I highly suggest that you do. But that's it. Let's get started. The first thing that Enlisted has stated is that they're going to be adding a bunch of new factions. The official ones that they have stated is the United States, which is confirmed, the Germans, which also have been confirmed, if the Germans aren't there then there is a problem, the Soviet Union, which also has been confirmed, the Japanese, which has 100% been confirmed, and the other two questions is, is there going to be Italy or the United Kingdom? And like I said with my news video, of course, most of you guys in the community has come out and said no, which... Enlisted has not said for sure. I'm assuming I'm assuming that Enlisted is not going to be that going to, is not going to be giving us Italy and UK so quick because if you remember back in War Thunder, they didn't give us Italy or the UK after a long time. But considering the fact that Italy and the UK is in game right now, I would really like to see them in game as of Enlisted right now. So that's going to be that. So my first question is going to be: Is Italy and UK? Going to be added and enlisted. My second question is about the progression. Now, a lot of people have also answered this for me, which is the fact that hey, if you have a progression system and if you unlock, let's say, Berlin Axis and then do you automatically unlock Berlin Normandy or Berlin Moscow, and the answer to that is no. I'm assuming no, but it's still an interesting question. And Elicit, as of right now, has not answered that question, which is very interesting because. If you imagine this, if you were a new player and you, well, if you're an old player and you only play Berlin Axis, you're gonna be pretty much unlocking the stuff before Berlin Axis, so that's gonna be very, very awkward if you ask me. So basically, you're moving back in terms of progression, but that's that. On the other hand, um, a lot of questions that are gonna be asked is what is the new campaign or what is the new faction in this case? And my question is going to be, my answer is probably going to be either literally, if Italy and the UK are not going to be added, I'm assuming Italy and UK are going to be next after the big four, which is Japan, United States, Soviet Union, and Germany. Um, if Italy and UK are not going to be added, I'm assuming they're going to be pretty much the UK and Italy. Of course, that's that. And in terms of actual factions, new factions, and when I mean new, I mean completely new, I'm assuming it's going to be either France, and a lot of people have been saying it's China. I'm going to be sorry to say no, it's not going to be China, because um, although Enlisted has come out in the stream saying that they might consider it, uh, not everything is off the table, it does kind of mean that I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be coming in anytime soon. On the other hand, is Finland. No, the sad reason is because Enlisted has just milked Finland into uh, cash grinding, machine in the sense that all the finished stuff are in the new uh, premium squads which means you are not going to be getting them as an actual faction which is sad of course it's sad so no Finland no China highest possibility and I swear to god highest possibility is France and as of right now it looks pretty much almost concerned to be France because we have no French units except for the Moroccan auxiliaries and Unlike the Finns, we pretty much have a lot of French weapons in game, but the difference between the Finns is the fact that um, the French still have a massive campaign to tell, and Enlisted has kind of been hinting that France will be the next campaign. Although if, now that you think about it, if Enlisted is forced to do a Finnish campaign because how many people love it, which I have no fret about it, I'm pretty sure Finland could also be on the list. Notice how I say could be on the list. Or the Enlisted could do something like War Thunder and just give us a Scandinavian, which is interesting. Let's move on to what I would like to see about Enlisted. Number one is the fact that I would like to see a lot of new tech trees. I would like to see a lot of new equipment being added for all factions. Like, of, of course, I know this is going to be 
on the timetable, but because Enlisted has new moved to a new progression system with a tech tree mo most similar, I say, to War Thunder, I would have to say that please Enlisted over time add new weapons into the game, and yeah, that's that. Second note is the fact that about the progression itself. Now we know when Stalingrad came out, they had a monetization system. I'm hoping, I swear to god, for the new progression system, do not monetize it, which Enlisted has kind of come out and said quote unquote, we will not monetize it. And what I mean, we will not monetize it, their actual words were, no major changes planned, we will remove some of the old ones. Basically, they will remove the one from Stalingrad, but they have not confirmed whether they're gonna monetize the heck out of the new progression, and judging how many people are literally assuming like, how many people are willing to see this progression be made, how people are going to see essentially this progression succeed, I think it's going to be a very bad idea if they monetize it, so please don't monetize it. In terms of new stuff, um, I really hope that they continue Japan as a faction, like give them more late war stuff, which I'm pretty sure is going to happen, like that's pretty much almost guaranteed. Also is the fact that they could add some unique planes. One of the first ones I have, even if you were to add it as a premium squad, which I have to admit, it's not what I want, is the... the duck. Yeah, the duck. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about the Heinkel HS-129. This thing literally has a 75mm cannon on it, which is absolutely amazing. Now, of course, you can add a lot of other stuff like that, which is very interesting. Also, for the Italians, I wish they continued progression tree if they intend to make Italy a faction, which I eventually, I have no doubt they're gonna do. Same as for the British, like, literally add more stuff for those two factions. And for the new campaign, honestly, I hope they eventually add China in, because... Why China? Because you have a lot of interesting stuff in the Pacific now, and I would just like them to build on the new stuff, which is very interesting. But in terms of the progression itself, honestly... I don't, I'm mixed about the progression as of right now. I see why Enlisted will do it, I see why the community wants it to do it. And Leeless, I'm just gonna be honest for you guys right here, like, whatever Enlisted does, people are gonna like it and people are gonna hate it, so... People are gonna come out on the internet and say, hey, we don't like this. People are gonna come out on the internet and say, hey, we love this. So, really, Enlisted is in a tricky boat right now because you can't please everyone, which is life, and at the same time... They're doing, in my opinion, they're doing actually the best. Of course, their monetization system is just wonky off the hells, which is not going to be helpful for us. But in terms of the game in general, I, I hope Enlisted is, has our best uh, stuff in mind, which is very, very important. And like I said, although you, you guys are going to see a lot of mixed opinions about this, just remember, keep in mind that no one is going to be fully, completely pleased. I have some issues with the progression myself. One of them is the fact that what the heck is going to happen to the original stuff that we have, which Alyssa has kind of come out and says, but I'm still kind of worried, of course. But other people will have even, such, such as a few friends that I know who literally says the progression is a very bad idea, which, if you ask me, I could see where they're coming from, but at the same time, I do like the new progression. So, literally, as of right now, Enlisted is literally has its feet on two ships. One, they're trying to please everyone, which is not possible, and two, they're trying to make the game better, and three, of course, the third feet is trying to make as much money as they can. But that's it, that's all for this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, I'll see you in the next one. Also, comment in the comment section down below what are your comments for the new progression, and I'll see you in the next one.